So with Christmas out of the way, I am finally one step closer to completing Mantis, getting close to building her for you guys. And now we're continuing with another figure. I'm finally finished buying Christmas gifts for everybody. Thank God. So now we're going to get back to doing this. Basically buying more figures. I don't know which more which figures I'm planning on buying next. I'm probably going to go ahead and save it for the X-Men wave. But here we go with the Marvel Legends. Mantis. My bad. Anyway, yeah. We're here again with another review, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We're here again back with the Marvel Legends. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Mantis, Build-A-Figure Wave, Daughters of Thanos Wave, uh, Marvel's Nebula, or for you awesome fans out there, just simply Nebula. So yes, here we are with um, Gamora's sister, uh, Thanos' other daughter. We are getting close, um, of course, to building Mantis. But yes, here we are. I really do love this figure, an amazing figure. Um, I it's, I admire it so much. This is actually the first time we've gotten a Mantis, I mean, my God, Mantis, a Nebula figure uh, from the movie. It's very cool, actually. Really do enjoy it. I don't actually remember her having a arm, a bionic arm in the first film. Do you guys remember? Please drop it in the comments. Um, and I'll probably just watch it again anyway. Um, but yeah, here's um, Nebula, I mean, not Nebula, Gamora. Yeah, I have her on a little stand. She she is kind of hard to stand. And this stand actually suits her very well. Uh, this is actually just a DC stand. Oh no. But yeah, here we have it. But as always, of course, I do have a lot of great things to say about this figure. Um, not many bad things, actually. I can't, I can't think of anything on top of my head, but I'll probably say something during the review. But before we get into the figure, I'm sorry, totally forgot. Let's get into the package. I have a package right here, so. Go ahead and take a look at that this awesome package. So Nebula does share the same package as Gamora. You can tell there's Gamora on that side, there's Nebula on this side. It says, um, on the top it says, build a figure in Marvel's Mantis. Cannot wait to build her, man. Here we have uh, the Guardians logo. Here we have Legend series. It says right there. And you have the nice window packaging. As you can see, it comes with the, is this left? Yes, it's the left leg of Mantis. Uh, Gamora did come with the right leg, so we are getting close. It says Marvel's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It says Daughters of Thanos. It doesn't actually say the full word. That kind of drives me nuts. Sometimes you don't know who they are, you know. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, on the back, oh, on the bottom, just a bunch of words, barcode. On the back, it says Marvel Legends series. You get a picture of Gamora. It says Gamora. You get a picture of Nebula. It says Nebula. And you give a bit of a read-up. If, if you want to read it, you can pause it right now. Sorry. Um, okay, so on the bottom you get a you get Mantis. So far, what I reviewed, we have the body, we have the two legs, and we'll be reviewing uh, what's next. Uh, we well, yeah, we'll be reviewing Star Lord next. As you can see, we are going order, and then after Star Lord, Star Lord comes with that arm, and then we'll go to Adam Warlock, who comes with the head, and then we'll get into number six, who comes with. Well, I don't have the actual figure. I just ordered it separately. I didn't feel like buying the figure. So I just ordered the arm on eBay, so I had the arm, don't worry. So yeah, that's just that leaves out two figures that we don't have to review, don't worry, we're almost there. Yeah, just need two more figures to review, and we'll get into Mantis. But yeah, there you have it guys, uh, the back. So just look, giving you a bit of a heads up of what's coming up next. So yeah, back to the figure. So like I mentioned earlier, I really do enjoy this figure, I find it amazing. I uh, love how, how it looks all bionic and everything. Um, at first, when you look at the face, it's kind of the only thing that, that really just um, it does capture your attention. But the one thing that, do, that does stand out a bit is the eyes. See, um, they didn't color in any pupils; they're just all black. However, whenever whenever you're looking at it, sometimes the light will glare off like that. Right now, as you can see right there, the light will glare off and it'll make, and it'll make it look like she does have some white pupils. Um, so yeah, see, you can see right there exactly. It looks like she has some pupils, but in reality, when you cover, when you cover like, when you're just looking at it without any light glaring off of it, it's just all black. Which is it's actually just it's kind of weird. It's like a, she's demonized or something. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean I'm okay with that. I like how they painted it with a um, really jet black, glossy black to make a little like to make it make a glare pop out. I really do love how it's all shiny too. The blue is really shiny. It pops out. The blue is actually showing really well. Um, I don't know. I, to me, Nebula always looked like someone that's off of the fifth element. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. If you have, leave a comment. But yeah, one of my, I like that one movie. 
the fifth, fifth element, you know, all those weird aliens. She looks like someone that would be on there. But yeah, she has the eye that's connected right there. Uh, the metal, that metal, that gray metal is actually the same color as her arm. She has the uh, purple going up. I love that purple. It's more like a violet, actually, isn't it? I don't know. But yeah, it's, the purple is going up her face. She's got that blue. She's got a a uh, gray line going right there. Uh, she has her ears. And I love how it's like almost like a mohawk. I love all the blue. I love it. I love how they sectioned it very well. Uh, same thing with her, her with her right arm. She's got that blue going on there. All the lines and everything on there. Really does look like she's a robot. She's been experimented on. She has a purple uh, half sleeve. I actually kind of like that. It's like right here. And then elbow all the way down. Is it the same thing with this one? Yeah, it's the same thing with this one, except she doesn't have a sleeve. She just has the elbow pad. She has the glove, her blue hand. And then she has, on this one, she has her bionic arm. Her purple outfit. Love the purple outfit. Looks all right. Looks cool. She's got like this separate belt piece going on here. Don't know what that's all about, but yeah. I love the outfit. I love how it's got all this texture. And different coloring. I love how they just, they didn't just like color it all purple. No, they actually put different coloring on it. Oh, her base fell off my bed. But yeah, and she's got like the, some light purple around here. But yeah, I love how Hasbro's going with this. I love the boots too. I don't know. Something about the boots just pops out to me. It reminds me kind of a, like Captain America boots for some reason. But I really do love the boots. It looks very spacey. It looks like something from space. I don't know. The, the one thing that really just stands out to me is the head. I guess to most of you it would be the arm or the... I don't know. But to me the, the face, the head sculpt stands out. And it, does, it looks perfectly. Only thing I kind of have trouble with is the head removing... I'm moving around. It's kind of stiff on mine. I don't know if that's with y'all's. Yeah, it's kind of stiff. But no, besides that, it's a really cool figure. So uh, for accessory-wise, she comes with two, unlike Gamora. Gamora only comes with... Oh, Gamora comes with three. My bad. Um, but yeah. Uh, she comes with this blaster. And to be quite honest with you, it looks like kind of like Star-Lord's. I think it's Star-Lord's in the film, except it's a bit smaller. I'll, I'll, I'll bring out Star-Lord's blaster here in a little bit. Compare it. Um, but yeah, you know how Star Wars has a, the two. This one looks like it's only the top. Maybe it's one of the, maybe it's one of Star Wars prototype blasters. And but yeah, it's just painted with silver. Kind of has it. Kind of has a gold rim going right there. But yeah, fits in perfectly in her hand. And then she comes with um, another arm. Uh, I don't remember. I've only seen Guardians of the Galaxy one time. Um, I mean Volume Two. I've only seen Volume Two one time. I need to watch it again. I only saw it in the movie theater. But yeah, I need to watch it again. But yeah, here comes with her. Oh, she has rotation. I didn't know that. But yeah, she, she comes with her other arm. This is basically the normal one. Normal hand, just like the other one. Which is this one, is the bionic arm. The claw, you know, of a Toy Story. <laughs> but yeah. And then, uh, but yeah. Love this. Really cool. Um, very easy to pop off and on. You just, yeah, so real easy. No pressure whatsoever. But yeah. Um... I prefer either one. Um, I, I have, at the moment I had her pose with this one on my shelf. But, um, actually she looks more better with this one. But I prefer either one, really, it doesn't really matter. But if you want her to hold two weapons, which she only comes with one, but if you have another one to, for, her to, for, for her to hold, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, she can't hold it in both hands actually. But if you have another weapon for her to, for her to hold, then go for it, you know? You got two arms right there. But yeah, I really do love this. Really cool. Uh, let me go ahead and bring out Star Lord's other arm real quick. And um, no, this arm does not, like it doesn't have any trouble popping off any time when you're moving it around. It, just, it sits there nice and firm. Uh, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, um, comparing it to this one, to this arm, it's all right. Uh, this reminds me of the TX arm from Terminator 3. I don't know if you guys have seen Terminator 3. Leave a comment below. It looks like TX, you know, the TX um, Terminator from Terminator 3, when she had, like, the fire coming out of her arm. I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of. Yeah. But, yeah, there you have it. Then you bring out Star Wars' other gun to compare it to this one, and we'll jump straight into articulation. All right. So here is Star-Lord and his blaster. Let me just take that off. And, honestly, I think it's one of Star Wars' blasters. I feel like they got, they got maybe the size wrong, because look at that. Doesn't that look the same? I feel like maybe she made it herself, or it's just one of those other prototypes lying around the ship, you know, in Volume 2. And she just grabbed one and then shot Yondu's head off. 
But look at that. Does does that not, does that not look like one of Star Lord's, you know, blasters? At least the, at least this part, you know. I don't know. To me, it just looks like one of Star Wars blasters, except she doesn't have that. Doesn't have the the bottom part, you know. I don't know. My little theory. Drop in the comment below if you do know about this. If it is one of Star Lord's blasters, uh, just I don't know. Just let me know. But yeah, I don't. She can't hold this one. It's way too big. But she can't hold this. So yeah. Um, so now for articulation time. Um, her head. She has a lot of articulation. Her head moves up that much. Moves down that much. Rotation because it is on a ball joint. However, you cannot pop the head off just in case you're wondering um, Arms do move out. This one's a bit stiff because it's robot. Um, yeah, it doesn't really go out that much higher This one goes out more higher uh, rotation. Yeah, like I said, it's stiff uh, Rotation right there at the shoulder. Yeah, see this one rotates uh, a bend at the elbow single bend rotation at the elbow same thing with this one a rotation at the wrist this on the on this arm with the hand a rotation at the wrist not on this one just letting you know. Uh, the rotation at the wrist on that one. Uh, she does have an ab crunch. Goes down that much. Goes backward that much. A rotation. A rotation at the waist too. Kind of hindered from the belt. Like the Marvel Legends Wolverine figure. Let me focus. I'm sorry. Okay. And uh, she kicks in that much. Goes backward that much. She is very flexible when it comes to the legs. Just saying. A rotation at the upper thigh. It is kind of hidden. A oh wow it's double that is rare I'm sorry yeah did not know that so a double um, bend at the knee rotation no never mind no rotation at the boot dang it uh, foot does go down that much yeah goes up and she does have ankle pivot so there you have it so size comparison time here is Nebula next to her sister Gamora and they do stand about the same size actually. I know it looks a little bit smaller, but no, in reality, it should have sounded... Well, maybe she's a little taller. But yeah, there you have it. And then here she is next to Star-Lord. Standing a little bit smaller than Star-Lord. And then here she is next to Drax. And then comparing her next to another Marvel bad guy. Bad girl, my bad. Here, we, here she is next to the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave Phoenix figure. And then here she is next to a Diamond Select Civil War Captain America figure. And then here she is next to a Figma... K on the Ritsu figure. And she stands about the same size as the Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. So there you have it, guys. Nebula. Overall, I really love this figure. Really cool. I, I'm definitely one of my favorites. Is it is it better than Gamora? Probably not. Not in my opinion. Um, no, I like Gamora a little bit more better. But yeah, I definitely love this figure. Um, really cool. Uh, I love how they just, you know, it's the first time they did it and they just topped it off perfectly. Um, yeah, so she comes with another build a figure piece. Really do recommend this to any collector out there. Really, it looks awesome next to um, the rest of the figures. And this is a long review. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to the next review, which will be over. Let's see here. Uh, the, the another Star Lord. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah. So the next Star Lord with the trench coat. So stay tuned to the next review, guys. We're almost there to build Mantis. Um, don't miss it. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, this has been Rubik's Film. See ya.